Today we're going to speak about landing page optimization and how to use Google Website Optimizer to increase your conversion rate. Here's the agenda. So firstly, we'll take a look at the background to landing page optimization. Then I'll give you a product overview of Website Optimizer. We'll then show you what to do next to start using Website Optimizer. So we're first going to look at a general introduction to website optimization. Even if you currently think that your website is performing well, without a doubt there's always room for improvement. So let's look at an example. This A-B test was performed by our very own Google Bacasa team. They decided to test their software download page. Now if you look at the two pages, there isn't much of a difference between them. Page A, for example, uses the word free. There's a picture in the corner and the link is action oriented. With page B, we've removed the picture. We've made the interface a little bit cleaner and we've changed the link to a button and we have a value proposition in there as well. So which page do you think was the best performing? In actual fact, page B was the winner with an observed conversion improvement of 30%. So how did we discover that this new page performed better than the old one? Did we ask the marketing team? Did we ask our CEO? No, we let our website visitors decide. This diagram shows three stages necessary for website optimization. This is a continuous process which should be examined regularly on an ongoing basis. Number one, driving the right traffic. You spend a lot of time driving visitors to your website through a host of different mechanisms AdWords, organic, direct, banner ads. So you need to make sure that it's the right kind of traffic. Then we have monitoring performance. The second phase of the web analytics process is tracking your online activities. Google Analytics allows you to track the efficiency of your online campaigns and to identify existing site problems. For example, it can tell you where people bounce and drop out of your funnel. But while Google Analytics can tell you what is wrong with your website, it can't advise you how to fix it. This is where Website Optimizer comes in, with optimizing content. Once you know your website weaknesses, Website Optimizer will advise you on how to fix the problems by telling you what the best converting content is to use in your landing pages. A question we often ask is who should be in charge of website content design? Should it be the webmaster, the IT department, the marketing department, the boss? Normally, most advertisers reply that the webmasters or the marketing department should make the content decisions. But in actual fact, the people who should be making your decisions are the users who are visiting your site. They're the ones you should care about, as they're the ones you're trying to influence to take an action. No expert truly understands like the thousands of anonymous people coming to your website every second. Website optimization helps you to select the correct design for your visitors. Here are some important concepts when it comes to website optimization. Number one, what are your online marketing activities? There are three things that you do in online marketing. You get people to your site through natural and paid search. You convert them. So you try to get them to complete an action on your site like a sale or a lead. And then once you convert them, you try to increase the lifetime value of a relationship with them. Then there's the conversion rate. So the conversion rate is the percentage of visitors that complete whatever your desired action is. And website optimization then allows you to improve your conversion rate from existing website traffic by testing and implementing changes. Please remember that it's easier to double profits by doubling conversion rates rather than trying to double traffic. There's only a split second when a visitor to your site decides whether or not to complete your desired action. You need to ensure that you maximize the likelihood of them completing an action by engaging in website optimization. Here are some best practices when it comes to website optimization. 
don't try to test too many variations. The more page variations you test, the more time the test will take to conclude. Try to test changes that are bold or noticeable. The more noticeable the different variation is, the more likely a user is going to interact with it differently. And finally, try to leave the test run for at least two weeks before stopping the experiment and drawing conclusions. What sort of thing can you test with website optimization? Here are some examples. You can change the headline, image, experiment with call to action, the layout, maybe include some testimonials, copy, perhaps embed a video, and perhaps change the pictures. We'll now look at some real life companies who have seen big wins from testing and implementing changes on their site. Here is an A-B test example from Shoe. Shoe set up an A-B test in Website Optimizer to find out which product layout provided the highest conversion rate. It took little over a week before Website Optimizer showed that Variation 3 was a clear winner. In fact, Variation 3 increased the number of products added to the shopping basket by 10%. It also led to an incredible 6% increase in conversions for visitors browsing in that product category. Here we have Marie Curie, who tested their donations page. The Marie Curie web team proposed the following. That a more simple form, requiring less clicks, would increase conversions. That removing unnecessary information would allow visitors to focus on the desired action, donating. That making the page's purpose clearer would increase donations. Marie Curie ran a simple A-B test and within a few weeks they saw that the new layout had already increased donations by 14%. Now it's time to learn about Google Website Optimizer. Google Website Optimizer helps you to optimize your website conversion rate to maximize return on investment and decrease cost per acquisition. What are the benefits of Google's Website Optimizer? It's been proven to increase website conversion rates. It decreases visitor bounce rates. It increases time spent on your site. It increases visitor satisfaction. It eliminates guesswork involved in design. And it gives you detailed, intuitive reporting. On this slide, we can see even more benefits when it comes to using Google's Website Optimizer and some of the key features. So benefits would include that it's free, it's easy to use, and it improves landing pages as we saw on the previous slide. Key features would be A-B split testing, multivariate testing, follow-up testing, it works with all traffic, and it's designed for marketers. So you can access Google's Website Optimizer from directly within your AdWords account on the Reporting tab. Let's start by looking at the testing options available within the Website Optimizer tool. There are two main methods of testing, A-B and multivariate. The first and most simple method of testing is A-B testing. This is the easiest way to get testing and works great for both low and high traffic websites. It helps you test different layouts of content, as long as you can create whole new pages. It's the most simple to implement and generally requires the lowest amount of data running through the test to get a conclusive result. Multivariate testing is a little bit more advanced. It lets you carve your pages up into multiple sections and will basically swap out different pieces of content. We'd really recommend that you start off with basic A-B testing and then move on to multivariate testing once you've got the grip of using the basic tool. If you'd like to test variations of your website to see what generates the most sales and leads, we'll show you now how to create a Website Optimizer account and launch your first A-B test. 
You can set up Website Optimizer within your AdWords account by selecting the Reporting tab and then Website Optimizer. You then decide what you want to do and select Create a new experiment. After this, you're ready to start testing. It's really simple to set up an A-B experiment. An A-B experiment allows you to test the performance of two or more entirely different versions of a page. You start with your original test page, so the page whose content you want to test, and then you create alternate versions of that page. So you can change the content, alter the look and feel, move around the layout, whatever you choose. Our system will then vary traffic to your original page and your alternate versions to see what users respond to best. A-B tests are a great place to start website optimization. They're relatively simple to set up. They're good for low traffic sites. They have less tagging to do compared with multivariate experiments. And provided they're quite different to each other, you can quickly see which one is a better design in a short period of time. So before you set up your A-B test, it's important to look at the following checklist. So number one, Choose the page you'd like to test. Two, create alternate versions of the test page. And three, identify your conversion page. Once you've considered all three steps, you're ready to start your experiment. The first step in the A-B test is to name your experiment. And you do this in step one here. Step two in the experiment is identifying your test pages. So as we mentioned earlier, you must know which pages of your website that you want to test. Using Google Analytics reporting data can help you to identify pages that could be converting better for you. Here are some examples of how to use Google Analytics to identify pages to test. Within Analytics, there are two reports that could help you to identify test pages. The first is the goal reports to see which pages on your site have the highest dropout. By looking at the content reports, you can examine exit rate or bounce rate as an indication of pages that could be tested. The third step in setting up your A-B test is to define your conversion page. If you don't know HTML, or you don't have access to edit the HTML source of your website, you'll need some technical help to use Website Optimizer. Specifically, you might need technical help obtaining the original HTML content of your site and installing the experiment code. The final step in setting up your AB experiment is to install and validate the JavaScript tags. Now, if you don't have access to your website's code, you can email your webmaster the code to finalize this stage of the setup. Once your code is added to the site, you can start your experiment. Please wait at least two weeks before drawing conclusions on the experiment winner. In this example, you can see that combination one has a 99.4% chance of beating the original combination.